good morning. Uh, welcome to Mojave. So obviously you all are, are fans of, uh, of aerospace and aircraft and uh, what better place to see it in Mojave. We appreciate this group of people. They're a very special group of people. They were willing to invest in an idea. And so I think it's our responsibility to let them know where we are and what they're, what, what's going on and, and where, where they're headed. The Lynx is powered by four rocket engines. They're each 3,000 pounds thrust. They use liquid oxygen and kerosene are very normal rocket propellants in the field. And there's also a lot of reliability built into this. Um, so if we happen to lose an engine in flight, which x has never lost an engine, but for safety, we always assume the next one you know, will, and we have a blast shield around the engine, the other three will still be fine and they'll keep functioning. Uh, you wouldn't be making it to space that day, but you're gonna come back safe. And that's really what's important to us. hear from our folks not only where the program is but the amount of effort that goes in every day to getting us to that goal of getting them into space that they see that these are talented people um, they have a great passion for not only the subject matter but for the company uh, and that there's an element of confidence behind me is the Lynx Mark 1 prototype flight test vehicle uh, I'm responsible for many of the large structural components you see behind me on the links. All of them are designed and fabricated using carbon fiber. Uh, that's a fairly modern uh, technology and x is advancing the state of the art uh, in using those technologies for the links. Using carbon fiber allows us to generate these very organic, uh, smooth shapes that you see on the links behind me and has really allowed us to create a very lightweight and high performance vehicle. To control the vehicle when it's out of the atmosphere, when the aerodynamic services can't work again, you have to have thrusters to push the nose up and down, left and right, and the roll left and right. Left boy, in three, two, The overall experience of the event was incredible. It was one of those things, you call this a life-changing experience, but the visit here was what made life-changing. Pretty amazing, especially to meet the uh, pilots Rick and Brian, and to see the shuttle, and to hear more about the safety redundancies. I have more confidence in the uh, build than I ever have. The founders have done a fantastic job, because what they're doing is actually challenging people to give their best. I'm excited to see the progress. I, you, can, you can sense that, yeah, okay, next year is a feasible thing. And it's just, it's just fun to see, and some of the same people, and some new people, and uh, they, just, they, they project this sense of confidence, but not cockiness, and I think that's what you need. I really love the, as they called it, safety culture. I'm a mother of two children. Safety's number one for me, and so from my perspective, that was so reassuring and wonderful to understand the, the real passion and uh, the real practicality of the safety culture that x brings into this project. Now that I've met the people, I really have an appreciation for the depth of technology, the innovation that's going on, the safety, the reliability, the focus on reusability. And it wasn't just the engineers. Also meeting the pilots you know, gave us a sense of, here are people on the engineering side and on the flying side that are dedicating their lives to be right at the front edge of the adventure into space.